and Liverpool Council have decided to scrap all but four of the city's bus lanes. At the Cabinet meeting last week, Mayor Anderson said that this will seriously improve bus traffic and reduce congestion in the city. However, after reviewing the report, not all councillors agreed that getting rid of the lanes was the best decision. One of those present, Councillor Janet Kent, was left in tears. I don't sit here happily. I swear to you, this is breaking my heart. Thank you. Uh, I think this is a mistaken decision, and it's a decision they didn't have to take today because uh, a 600 page report needs a lot more thorough study, an opportunity for people to find errors. Well, I certainly have felt that the outcome had been predetermined. The mayor is not well disposed to bus lanes, and the report that's been given to him confirms his starting point on this. Uh, I'm, 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 afraid, I'm afraid we've made the wrong decision today, and it'll be my job and other people's job to continue to review this document and these, this, this piece of research and point out other, other ways that the evidence can be interpreted and sometime in the future we'll try and get Liverpool back on course as a sustainable city friendly to public transport. The suspension of 26 bus lanes last year provoked outcry from bus companies and passengers. I've had a very long career in transport, almost 50 years indeed, and the decision which has been made today is, to my opinion, uh, one of the worst decisions I've ever seen during all of that time. Um, to do away with bus lanes will have two effects. It will worsen the attractiveness of buses uh, and that in turn will lead to more people going by car and therefore the tra traffic congestion will almost certainly worsen uh, rather, than, uh, rather than improve. So um, unfortunately with many politicians they seem to be relatively unencumbered with any knowledge of the real facts and I'm afraid that in my personal opinion uh, that has certainly been self-evident today. For now, lanes will remain at Lime Street, St John's, Strand and Stan Street. What we will do is listen to views and listen to people's concerns and if there is evidence that things aren't working, then we'll change them back because that's what we should.